Hello, and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Cientier. You can support me at patreon.com slash Cientier because that's where my Patreon page is. Wee, let's go get Zenmai. Uh, this character desperately needs to advance because she has not gotten far enough to get all of her attribute points because 30 of them are locked behind um, getting to the Crystal Desert, which this character has not yet done. So, I was just like... Why are my attribute points not coming out right when I'm trying to mess with my build a little bit? And it's because I don't have all of them yet. Which means that she's sort of pseudo-operating like a pre-searing, uh, my pre-searing level 20 character who cannot get all of her attribute points. This is a cool spot, and I'm going to friggin' screenshot it for my thing. I don't care. Um... Okay, is this the right way to get... I'd... So this this map does not show layers at all. Um, so I can see that the map tells me Zenmai is right there, but I don't actually know the best way to get to her. And Duck Duck Byway is confusing on the best of days, uh, which is um, certainly what it is being right now. So this might take me a little bit of navigational effort. Uh, I'm just, I just put on a costume, for anyone who's wondering. Yeah. This is the full Balthazar set in green. Balthazar's horned helm and doublet. On a female character, obviously. I guess maybe I need to go this way to get where I'm trying to go. I tell ya, this place is a confusing mess. It's all right. Okay, yeah, look, this is starting to go up then, see? And so, like, that area dead ended, but this goes up to probably where Zenmai is. zenmai right there. I can see her now. Whatever zen -maying means. Hmm. I think she's chasing someone. Well, she's certainly walking. Oh, uh, hi, Brian. Well, I'm not getting a quest from him, that's for freaking sure. Okay, where are you, Zenmai? There you are, Zenmai. Daggers are a girl's best friend. Hi, Sunspears? Sorry, never heard of you. However, it would seem you are of some use in a fight. As Mozing, a masterless assassin, I move from employer to employer like the wind. Unfortunately, my most recent employer was kidnapped by my former comrades, the Ampha, along with several other civilians from Kining Center. They'll force those poor souls to drink from their corrupted chalice, turning them into mindless, afflicted monsters. I know the location of their hideout in the Undercity. If you can face the danger, I would have you stand at my side. Yeah, cool. Let's go. Travel to the Undercity, and my must survive. Cool. Um... Okay, got to get to the Undercity without getting too lost. Right, I can do this. I need to go either here, or is it down this way and around? Oh, ball the... This place is ever so confusing. Oh, hi. Uh, apparently, I needed to talk to you for a quest. Uh, if you want to speak to me, you must first learn to spell my name. It is spelled the way it sounds. Ong Sang. Ong Sang. Say it with me. Let the beautiful sound fill your ears. Oh, what do you want? We received a shipment of medical supplies. News to me. Garsman Pa has been pestering me for a shipment uh, of replacement supplies for over a week now. Give him the details. He'll see to it the supplies are distributed where they are needed. Uh, okay. I mean, that's, that's just some other random quest I had in my inventory called Passing the Buck. Here we are. Gotta fight more Ampha. Uh, 
I will take your random Garbo Axe. Go over here. These are Pansy and Ordinary Ampha, not super deadly, special, souped up Ampha from uh, Winds of Change. So, a bit less threatening, thankfully. Let's get rid of this stuff. Antidote Signet is very good. It got buffed over the years, too. I, if I remember correctly, when you used it, it would cleanse you of one of poison, disease, or blindness. And now it cleanses you of all of those plus another condition. So uh, it's gotten stronger over the years. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, it rather invalidates the anti-condition sickness in all, basically every other profession. Assassins have one that removes a condition from you for each condition on your target. Uh, Paragons have one that's literally just remove a condition from yourself. Antidote Signet's always been the best one. So if you can spare... If, if you want one of those Signets and you can spare um, the Ranger Secondary, it is superior. But, of course, you're not always able to take the Ranger Secondary. Of course, as a Ranger Primary, I have no choice. But Stop the Amphom from creating new Afflicted. Yay, that sounds like a good task for heroes to do. Gives you a bit of the taste of why they wanted all of the Amphah gone. I know you did not get a lot of the early faction story in uh, the stuff that I've done on this channel. But I'm not here so much for story anyway, to some extent. I'm just like, I enjoy playing this game, so I'm just going to play it. I have an excuse to play it. I need to make my way down there. Okay. Well, it's a bit more of a trek than I was hoping it would be, but here we are. Ah, oh, Kappa. Slash memes, I guess. Ow. That got dramatically mitigated and damaged by virtue of my profession. Uh, and yes, I am attacking the Kappa below me. This game's vertical axis is slightly suggestatory. Um, like, it exists for some things and not for others. And physical attacks is one of the things that doesn't really exist or like melee attacks is one of the things it just doesn't exist for picking up items also best to go over this way or is that a dead end I think I need to go around I legitimately don't know my way around this zone though it's not one that I come to very often um yeah. Ah, I do love the faction music, though. Granted, part of that is because it's filled with nostalgia for me, but... Just because that's true doesn't invalidate the truthfulness of it. Sideways has good videos about music. Oh, for crying out loud. Hi, I see you. Time to get smushed. A little. A little smashed. What runes was I putting in this armor anyway? Not that armor, this armor. While attacking. Okay. Alright, well that guy's no longer a problem. Uh, looks like I need to go down this way. Past these viney things. There is somewhat evocative of the catacombs. Not 100%, but somewhat. I think these are Ampha, um, are here type stickers. Eh? Where did this guy come from? Well, that didn't go well for them.
I don't make it out alive. Who will make kitty eared headbands for the masses? Willing to buy my own freedom. We'll pay generously, says the trader. Uh, at last, at last. The ceremony could not begin without the most important player. Zenmai, my dear, you have kept me waiting a long time. Too long. But it is an auspicious day that brings us together again. Did you truly think you could escape? Zenmai, have you come to rescue me from these, these madmen? I shall free you from the Amfa, and then free you of the coin you owe me for my last job. Do not mistake that. Dealing with Lal is a bonus. I do that for free. Such bile, such anger. You're as cold as ever, Zenmai. Maybe if you weren't so frigid, you'd move a little faster. You see, you're already too late for that one. To pass the time while waiting for you, we had some fun, some laughs, and some drinks from the Chalice of Corruption. Just like old times before you left us, remember? The past is a shadow that lurks behind us all, waiting to embrace you like the ground rushing up as you fall. I never forget the past, and today I shall settle its debts. A poet now, are we? You play at many things, and my. First you run from your past like a mole that cannot face the sun. And now you come before me, playing the part of a hero. Very well, let your blades speak, and we shall know the truth. And we shall all know the truth of your heart. Well, um, whatever. That person went down super fast and don't care about their dialogue. I wasn't even... I was too busy reading the dialogue to pay attention to what happened. The heck is a blade of corruption doing all the crap? What? Oh, right. Because this is a plot to get people into Nightfall. Alright, to get Zenmai over towards the Nightfall areas, they had, um, lightning reflexes. Canthan customer says, I cannot promise I'll remember your name when my fashions hit the big time, but I'll try not to forget what you've done for me this day. Um, what was your name again? The poet says, such heroism, you'll be remembered well in my poetry. And the tourist says, I think it's time I reconsidered my reasons for traveling. It appears the grass was only greener on the other side because it was plague infested. Uh, hi Zenmai. My blades have pierced the Shirokin as surely as they have cut down these creatures, these demons. Through my steel, I could feel the same evil. It can be no coincidence. There is something greater at work here. Come, Sunspear. It would seem my answers lie in Ilona. Besides, I can't collect my pay from a dead afflicted, can I? Perhaps I need a new employer. Uh, yeah, that's actually a reference to something that we already saw, which is that the Shirokin by Shiro uh, are connected with Abaddon through Shiro being a servant of Abaddon. Okay. So now we need to return to the clerk in Commandon. Uh, return with Zenmai. Uh, okay. I assume that means I can just do... According to Commandon thing. Yes, 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 I know. There's Clerk Arlon. Arlon, my bud. My clerk person to whom I am going to speak. Uh-huh, yeah, okay, I don't need any of this. This is just 196 gold. Hi, Arlon. Let me just dot the eyes on your friend's temporary Sunspear visa, and it will be complete. There. This document will allow her free access to our ports and surfaces. Have a nice day. Thank you. Zenmai was a member of the Amphal gang in Cantha, but she broke with that criminal gang when it embraced the Canthan plague as a gift of the gods. Now she is Mozing, a traveling blade, a masterless assassin, selling her services to the highest bidder. Um, cool. I'm going to go stop by Shatam over here, and um, then make my way over to ye old land of Tyria. Yeah, you enjoy those things that I don't want. Iron's Arch. This character does not really have beyond. Like, I have stuff beforehand. Apparently, I didn't want to do the frost gate on her. No shocker. Did more or less pass, but then it went through the northern route. And somehow entirely missed Beacon's Perch? What? I just went from Ice Tooth Cave all the way through Scoundrel's Rise to Lion's Arch? Sure, why not? Why not do some obscure route like that? Sorry, I'm going here to the, the courthouse on the 
I don't know. This character needs skills, but I'm like hesitant to buy skills for her because she, she's going to get a bunch of, or be able to get a bunch of free ones through quests. I probably got a bunch from Yak Spend, or at least I should have. Or I didn't. I don't know. Tabber. Well, that's not any skills. I want skills. Hmm. Hi, Grand Mason Stone Cleaver. Do you have skills? Uh. All right, potentially. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not worrying about that right now. I need to go to Lion's Arch. Do I even have the quest I need right now? Um, this character's actually... So she looks Canthan, but she's actually Tyrion. I used a makeover kit on her. Um... Okay. Is it Sergio I talked to? I legitimately don't remember. Okay. He has the villainy of Galrath, which is nice and all, but... Oh, maybe I need to talk to Armin the Guide. That could be who I need to talk to. Ah, here it is. Report to the White Mantle. Why, hello, and welcome to Lion's Arch. I see you're another one of one who's been offered sanctuary here by the grace of the White Mantle Justi Justicars. The White Mantle rules this kingdom, if you hadn't figured that out. So if you mean to stay here, you'd best report your presence officially. There's a barracks in Delecio Seaboard just west of town. Talk to Mantle Knight Kraya, and he'll sort things out for you. Cool. So I want to bring Koss, Jin, and Zenmai. Because all of them needs them levels. Because they don't have them. Uh, and then I'm going to bring Serenia and Dunkora. Koss, I... Mm, this is definitely a build. Sure, sure. You can do Rage of the Tuka. Um, actually, this is aggressively suboptimal. Probably also aggressively suboptimal. Okay. Um, okay, so everybody's suboptimal except for the heroes that I had already. So, we're just going to go next door. Uh, so I'm going to go just go next door and, um... I can worry about making proper builds once I'm over there. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, these ones are not not good. Not any good. But I don't feel like making them good just yet because of account of that would take time. And I'll do it in between episodes because we're almost done with this episode anyway. But I figure going through the Prophecies campaign will be a good good way to get Zen Mai, Jin, and Koss leveled up to 20, so. It'll be fun. I mean, we've got a proper complement of Monk with us called Dunkoro, and we've got some serious damage with us called Serenia, so I'm not really worried about a couple of small groups of Fire Imps. My pet found them better than I did. I ran around the long way is what I did. Yep, yep. Yeah, that bow's pretty suboptimal. That's okay. That is okay. Cool. We need to go talk to White, to Mantle Knight, Kraya. I do not know why they have a pop-up telling us that. That is kind of bizarre. 
The D'Alessio Seaboard is obviously named after Saul D'Alessio, the founder of the White Mantle. And here is the Mantle Knight, Kraya, who will probably think that I want a bunch of absolute garbage weapons, but... Uh, Justicara Turimo told me about you. It is the will of the unseen, no doubt, that brings you here, for we are greatly troubled by the rising tide of undead that has beset the countryside. We need a message sent to the Confessor in the temple to the west, so that he may consider how best to protect these lands. You have witnessed yourself these undead abominations. I would like you to travel to the Temple of Tolerance and tell Confessor Dorian of all that you have done and seen. If you are ready to undertake this task, gather together a party and click enter a mission. Thanks. Um, why do you still have a thing? Oh, bandit trouble? I'd heard that there was some trouble in North Carter Province, but I am much aggrieved to hear how ineffective the Lion Guard is at protecting our people. Here we are, the White Mantle, taking on the greatest of crises, facing our land, the Walking Dead, and the vaunted Lion Guard cannot deal with a few brigands? I'll send a few men to inquire into the matter, and in the meantime, give this token of Janthir to the peasant you mentioned. While she bears it, the Unseen Ones will pay her special attention. So that's just a... Um, it's a quest literally just north of here. Might as well go... Why did I have to end up all the way over here? I might as well get it taken care of and then end the episode there. Uh, and then next time we will go to the Delessio Seaboard after I tweak my party considerably. On account of these builds not being great. Oh, yeah. So this fire rod, I can totally ID it to get more out of it. I don't have any use for it. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Um, the quest giver for the, the quest that I just turned in is the wrong button. I meant this one. It's just up this way. Near Dalos, Ikaris, and Maiku, Ilri, whatever. Those people who are from Cantha, and there's a whole plot about getting them here. It's Mariba up here. Hello. What's this? A token of Janthier? I think I was hoping for a little more night and a little less mantle out of Karia. Oh well, I guess there's not to be done, but hope this thing works. Enjoy. Okay, so um, I'm going to call the episode to a close there. And uh, next time, I will uh, see about doing the Delessio Seaboard. So until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.